It's a weak start for the Indian market. The Nifty gives up over a percent as all sectors, apart from FMCG trade with losses. Banks, the worst hit after a sell-off on financials, hits Wall Street. Metals too slump while mid-caps fall in line with the frontline indices. Tata Motors is one of the outperformers today after its subsidiary. Tata Tech files a DRHP for its IPO. Remember, Tata Motors owns nearly 75% stake in the IT services arm. Equitas Small Finance Bank under pressure as more shares hit the market post the reverse merger with Equitas Holdings. Shares given to us by Equitas Holdings shareholders become available for trading for today. from today. Electra Green Tech's rally continues. The Maharashtra government has proposed the purchase of electric buses in the budget. The company is also planning 800 crore rupee fundraise. And the company's management has also told CNBC TV 18 that it's the lowest bidder in the CESL tender for around 13,000 electric three-wheelers. Hello and welcome. You're watching us here on Chartbusters. I'm Mangla Malu. With me, Nigel D'Souza. Looking like a weak Friday for the Bulls. The last Friday went to, or rather, the last Friday went to the Bulls. Uh, Bears said, OK, let us party this time around. 200 points shaved off on the nifty, 17,400. Let's see where we go from here. But... Uh, Let's talk about individual stocks. We do have with us a Motilal Oswal note which suggests that logistics companies could benefit as dedicated freight corridors will help boost the modal share of railways in freight transformation. We do have with us uh, management of Gateway District Parks. Prem Kishan Gupta, who's the chairman and managing director, joins in now. Thanks a lot, Mr. Gupta. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Uh, just wanted to understand, you know, what currently is the share of uh, traffic freight between road as well as rail? And in areas where DFC has been commissioned already, what kind of change have you seen? Well, good morning, Mangnam. Uh, the changes that we have seen in the rail to road, uh, I mean, it is growing. Right, seems uh, like. By quarter of complete, and once the DFC uh, is complete, the uh, all the benefits of. Uh, uh, of the of the rail uh, freight will definitely uh, be good for all the rail companies, and we are well positioned to take advantage of it. And we are already uh, in key locations, and we mm, definitely uh, are looking uh, for this uh, uh, DFC to complete, which is the where the new deadline is uh, over the next two quarters. Hmm. So let's hope that it gets complete and full benefits of DFC uh, <clears throat> are take, given to the customers as well as for the company. Okay. Hi, Ms. Gupta. Good morning. Uh, you know, the National Rail Plan, they expect the share of, uh, of freight traffic by rail to go up to around 40%. That's by 2031 from around 18% in 2020. You think it's a realistic assumption? Yeah, I think the way uh, the uh, the rail share has been increasing, uh, right now it is just below 30%. So it will not be difficult to achieve that uh, once these uh, uh, DFCs are completed uh, to Gujarat ports as well as to Navasheva. And simultaneously there are works going around, uh, you know, uh, from north to south and east to west. So uh, realistically, uh, realistically uh, these are... Uh, Targets are achievable, uh, but with one rider that the projects sh should be uh, implemented and completed by the railways on time. All right. And uh, what's your market share in the terminals that you operate? Well, in the NCR region, we, ha we have about 16 to 17 percent uh, market share, whereas mm -hmm. in Punjab and Lodhiana, we have about uh, 33 percent market share. All right. And once the DFC, uh, as per, uh, you know, the government's stipulated timeline is... Uh, is commissioned, what do you think can your market share go to? See, once uh, uh, the DFC is completed, then uh, overall volumes will increase. So mm -hmm. we will not only uh, retain our market share, uh, but we also uh, are looking uh, at improving our net network uh, through our uh, flagship uh, terminal, Gari Hasro, which will serve as a hub uh, for all the locations in the north. Mm. And uh, definitely, we will look forward to increase it closer to 20%. Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Gupta, you know, the track work in NCR region, that's what affected business in quarter three, right? In quarter four, have things improved? Give us a sense in terms of volumes or some kind of color. See, some improvement is there in the volumes. Uh, the track work uh, uh, has been done in the north uh, near Delhi. 
but now uh, we have uh, you know some uh, track work going on and with the passengers uh, trains running full uh, so uh, I'll... like you know in the past during the covid the uh, now uh, it has slowed down the uh, turnaround of the trains but uh, more than that exports have taken a hit so mm. uh, imports have surged and uh, exports have hit, taken a hit in the last few months uh, that is the reason for worry so what kind of uh, volumes can we expect in the fourth quarter and does that change your outlook for fy24 because i remember the last time you joined us you said that on an overall basis fy24 volumes will be a little higher than fy23 even though there would be a decline in uh, or rather flattish sort of performance in the cfs volumes just wanted your thoughts on both cfs as well as uh, rail volumes for the fourth quarter and next year see fourth quarter has seen increase in volumes mm -hmm. uh, compared to q3 so uh, uh, we we are expecting to close the year with a uh, net gain of uh, volumes uh, uh, both in rail and cfs in rail the growth is uh, about 8% year on year and on the cfs side it is 10% year on year uh, just one thing that we have to look at the cfs volumes is that this is without punjab conveyor hmm. uh, which we exited uh, last year in january so first 10 months of uh, previous year are uh, uh, if you compare that with the current uh, first 10 months, the CFS volumes have gone up and the profitability has also gone up. Right. And uh, the fourth quarter, you also have the Kashipur terminal coming in, right? The full performance of that business. So how much yes. could that aid your revenue and volumes by? Well, I mean, uh, Kashipur terminal, uh, we have uh, operations now since January. If, uh, full, if we, so we have the full quarter. So that will add, add about uh, seven to 8,000 TUs in this quarter. But going forward, uh, we are looking at uh, 10 to 12,000 uh, uh, TUs per quarter. All right. Thanks a lot, Mr. Prem Kushan Gupta, for joining in and giving us all those uh, details on the business going forward. Wish you good luck for the fourth quarter and next year as well. And hoping that all the DFC uh, you know, terminals are commissioned on time as you are expecting. Because once that happens, the share of rail will increase as per the National Rail Plan from 18 to 20 percent to about 40 odd percent and that would benefit players like Gateway Distri Parks as well as Container Corp. Uh, take a short break, come back. Actually, before we do that, let's also get you some ideas of profit coming in from